Hi there. This is Dr. John Whitcomb talking about the COVID virus being inhibited by natto. Now, natto is a unique Japanese food that's made by fermented soybeans. And the story goes that a thousand years ago it was invented when some soldiers on pawn being called to battle threw their cooking soybeans that was on the fire onto some straw and covered it up. So wet straw was there. And three days later they were starving hungry and came back and found this gooey, sticky mass. Well, it's a bit of an eccentric taste, but that's how natto was born. The bacteria Bacillus subtilis is found in straw. It's now made in giant vats, but the bact we now know the bacteriology of it. And it's the highest food source of K2. It's an unbelievable great source of K2. And in northern Japan, it's widely eaten. So the district of Fukushima, just north of, Japan, of Tokyo, where the Fukushima power plant was, has only had 47 deaths from COVID. Or the rate of COVID has been much, much lower than the rest of Japan. And that's been noticed. So some researchers at the Tokyo University research at Tokyo University took it seriously, and they took uh, natto extract and they applied it to the COVID virus and to herpes virus, and found that the viruses were unable to infect cells. And then they took the extract and heated it, and lost the ability to do that. So it must not have been the natto. It must not have been the K2. It must have been some sort of protease enzyme. And looking at the virus under electron microscope, they found that the, the, the protein that actually connected to the cell was severely degraded. So that what they call the receptor binding domain is part of that spike protein that was damaged and re reduced. So there's something going on in fermented soybeans we don't find anywhere else. But this has been taken very seriously in Japan. In fact, Japan's import of Soybeans has gone up 15% because so many people are eating natto. Now, of course, the real solution to the pandemic is to get vaccinated so your immune system is secure. But if you don't mind being a little bit curious and trying something, you could try making some natto. I personally have done that. I've been eating natto off and on for the last year. I've been making my home batch. You can make it relatively easily. Uh, tastes just as eccentric as when you get it in a Japanese restaurant. If you try it with some miso soup, it might not be as bad. Uh, this is Dr. John Whitcomb saying, natto consumption markedly inhibits infection with the COVID virus. Really interesting.